fear of the two ladies down there. Yes, I think one could be pretty sure of that. Oh, a whole lot of head shaking going on from James Wade. No doubt pondering the fact he could have broken beaten literally and figuratively in that leg. Super darts. Forty-five. Not so super darts. And Wade now on top in this leg. All the pressure in this set's on beaten John, isn't it? One hundred and thirty. Yeah, you feel as well that James Wade and indeed. Gemma are far more relaxed now than they've been for a long time. 78, uh, 94. Because he's that set in front and it looks as though he's going to level up. 76 left. Square it off with 16. Come back for tops. Still got the job of uh, breaking beaten in this set if he's going to win the match. Almost here and now. Danger require 40. Double top. Sweet for James Wade. The next to Rofa. The former uh, world match play champion. That's where he arrived on the scene with his first major title, like in 2007. In fact, he arrived the previous year out of nowhere to reach the final against Phil Taylor, where he gave the power a right old royal dust-up on the Blackpool stage before losing. We realised then that there was a very special talent about to emerge. Yes. 76. I can remember him winning a youth championship way back in the late 90s. And he was all the rage. Uh, I felt that he really became a man when he got to the final in 2005 of the World Match Play. And even though he lost, uh, it was um, a big, big tournament for him. And he crossed the line, I think. In that tournament, 125 became a big man in the game, a big part of the darting scene. Six disappointment since, of course, Rod, but uh, still very much uh, admired as a player and, and feared by some. Well, he could certainly win this title, but he arrived at Alexandra Palace at much lower down the betting than he has done in previous 100. years. In fact, a couple of times in the last few years, he's arrived as the second favourite behind Phil Taylor, but this year people were more dismissive of Wade's chances because of his problems he'd had, and we'd seen him in suffering in Dublin and losing early in the Players' Championship too, but he's still in the tournament, that's for sure. 100. And as long as you're still at the races, you can still win the race. That's a lovely dart from Beaton. Oh, yes. Moves across for another ball. Oh, oh, that would have been James super special, wouldn't it? Yeah, ball 25, ball finish is always a real crowd pleaser, isn't it? So two double tops, surely for Wade. That's the way he always goes. He's got one of them. He's got two. They used to say nothing for a pair, not in this game, but there's a, something for the pair there, that's for sure, because Wade has now moved to within a leg of this match. That was brilliant, Paul John. James yes, pulled out the 130 to win the decider in the previous Game set, on. and then pulled out a quite magnificent 100 there. And first did that in the world match play probably that very year 2005 91. when he beat Kevin Painter and has used that as a method of finishing on a hundred many times since not always successfully but when he has been successful what a sight you just knew didn't you and the first Double top was in. There was no missing with the other. Now heading 
inexorably won fields towards victory, but uh, maybe I'm speaking too soon as Beaton puts in an important big score himself. And if Wade doesn't get a trouble with this start, then Beaton has every chance now. Oh, yes. Nice bolt, far too soon. 81 left to break back. Well, he's doing what he had to do, John, which was pretty much in his mind. He must have told himself, you need to clean up this 501 in 12 darts or fewer. Beaten, that is. And he's thrown Steve nine, Wyatt, he's left 81. 81. He must have thought Wade would go out in 15. 60 left, 40 left. Tops! Steve that John. is brilliant. Beaten, 12 Steve. darts, fantastic. Knowing, John, that if he lost Steve. the leg, he was Broker. out of the tournament. Game on. You've got to hand it to him. Absolute class. We've seen it from Wade in the last few minutes twice. We saw it there from Beaton. One hundred again. Now the best from Beaton. Faced with certain defeat, pulls out a 12 dart leg. It's kicks off with a top 40. Wade goes with him. Now then. Fighting for his world championship life, another 140. Oh, what a crucial stage, and how they're producing both. Well, John Steve Beaton is threatening here to produce back to back 12 dart legs. 60. In a cauldron of a match when he was a leg away from defeat. To leave 122. And yes, nine darts. If he finishes 122 in three, it will indeed be a dozen darter. He doesn't need to, though. He won't necessarily go the traditional treble 18. 18 ball, no. He's... Oh, that leaves 17. And uh, that means one will leave double eight. Oh, and he has to be careful. No that he wasn't. Sorry, that's akin to the big one that was missed by Dean Win Stanley before in the previous game. And now that really lets Wade in. And is he going to step in? Well, a ton puts him in touch, Rob. Had to be extra careful, beaten, and he wasn't. And now he's unravelling. What have you done, Steve? What have you done? Well, throwing so, so beautifully, and then misses, and tops for round three, James Wade is through, and well, well, might she be pleased, Steve Beaton had his moments, but James Wade has the match. They've had an afternoon to remember. Terrific drama, terrific entertainment. And in the end, this is the 120 checkout from that man, James Wade. And an awful mess from Steve Beaton to wrap things up.